Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. Welcome to RT Recap, where I look at the hot takes from today's hottest critics working in the entertainment news industry. <laughs> I can't even really say that with a straight face, to be honest with you. I'm just going to read what people are saying about a movie, and then we're going to make fun of it, or we're going to talk about it, or whatever. But today, we're looking at Rocket Man. Now, I don't want to talk any ill of this movie. It looks fantastic. I'm an Elton John fan. I'm a Taron Egerton fan. The movie looks like it's going to be a great deal of fun and maybe pull on them heartstrings to the tune of over $800 million like Bohemian Rhapsody did. At least that's what its producers are going for. However, coming over here to Rotten Tomatoes, we can see that the, the movie is currently sitting at a certified fresh rating with 121 counted reviews and 90% on the tomato meter. Looking like it's going to be one of the top rated films of the year with a critical consensus saying it's going to be a long, long time before a rock biopic manages to capture the highs and lows of an artist's life like Rocket Man. That's entirely possible. Let's see what they're saying here. So, Brad Wheeler, Globe and Mail, says it's a whimsy, magic, and metaphor. Thanks! Y you gave me six words on a 3.5 out of 4 star review. I can only imagine that the rest of your review is probably eight words. Or nine, if you just have, go see it. Ed Masley here from Arizona Republic, another top critic, says it helps that Egerton is so masterfully rises to the challenge of inhabiting the role in ways that go beyond a certain more than passing physical resemblance to the man or the fact that he does his own singing and handles the choreography with ease. Well, if you haven't seen the Kingsman movies, then clearly you don't know the talent of this particular guy whose name I can't think of right now. <laughs> Taron Egerton, that's what it is. Never mind the fact if you check out DreamWorks Sing, he plays Johnny, the gorilla who sings Still Standing by Elton John and doesn't masterfully. So he was built and born and bred for this role. Thank you, Ed, for your contribution. Moving on, Peter Travers Rolling Stone here says, The young, gay, conflicted, and addicted Elton John is brought to life by an electrifying Oscar-caliber Taron Egerton and Dexter Fledger's dazzling cinematic inventiveness. Forget the cliches. This one is you don't want to miss. Well, that's going on the poster. At least part of that is there. Probably it's gonna, it, they're going to drop the forget the cliches, and they're just going to say, this one you don't want to miss, Peter Travers, Rolling Stone. And that's going to be the... You're going to find that quote on either the box art, or it's going to be on, like, the poster. Uh, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna completely overlook the forget the cliches and, and go right for that. Anyway. And, ooh, ooh, A.O. Scott's back. What's, what's A.O. Scott got to say this time? I'm sure it's a dazzling take. He says, the point of Rocket Man isn't self-aggrandizement. It's fan service of an especially and characteristically generous kind. Well, you know what? You know what, Ayo? Mr. Scat, if you're nasty. This is a movie about a larger-than-life guy who had his own problems, right? Uh, clearly trying to be a singer and performer and be a very larger-than-life personality, and this is a biopic of his life that Elton John fought to keep the drugs and the sex in. So clearly, it's a fan service movie for fans of, and I just, I just kind of want to wait for it for a second here. Elton John. I know. Crazy to think that a movie celebrating the life of an established performer who is a permanent member of pop culture for now until the end of time is movie's fan service. Jesus, Scott. Anyway, Brian Truitt here from USA Today says, As much as Rocket Man reminds of just how many outstanding songs Elton John has recorded, it also digs into the pain and emotion that lie within those toe-tapping treasures. Yeah, I actually kind of expect the song Still Standing to basically just be an entire thing about the Elton doing a whole line of coke and then still standing at the end of the night. I'm making that up. I literally have no idea. If that's the case, I am going to pat myself on the back for being a massive predictor of this of this type of film but obviously brian here enjoyed it and that is good we also got christy lemire from RogerEbert.com saying edgerton gives a performance with such thrills and vulnerability such charisma and pathos that it's hard not to be wowed clearly you've never seen him as eggsy in the kingsman movies so you don't know the the, the palette of acting talent that taron egerton has christy lemire RogerEbert.com. Norman Wilner from Now Toronto says John Sons chased such massive emotional crescendos that they risk collapsing into themselves at every turn. When the movie takes a similar risk, it just feels right. Cool beans. You know, you, 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 you look you look at a movie like this, it's, it's you know it's a it's a biopic, but it's also kind of like a rock opera. 
right? Kind of like, uh, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody or even like uh, Straight Outta Compton or hell, even uh, some of the other ones like Repo, the Genetic Opera <laughs> or Rock of Ages or Rent. You know, they, 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 they have a lot of songs. They have a lot of songs in them. That's what they do. But then again, when it when it takes, uh, you know, it, when it when it moves away from it, I guess we say the movie does pretty well. OK, Norman, I appreciate your Canadian take on this one. And we have Andrew Parker here from The Gate saying the best full on musical Phantasmagoria of Phantasmagoria. Hold on here. What about a famous person destroying and reclaiming their life since Bob Fosse's all that jazz? I'm more stuck on the Phantasmagoria because I had to go look it up here. It says that it's a sequence or real of, of real or imaginary images like those seen in a dream. Well, thanks for that one. Anyway, let's look at the one rotten review that's here. This is the one. This is the only rotten review that I can find on the front page. It's from Todd Gilchrist of Birth, Movies, Death. And it kind of feels that this is the right outlet to do it, to be fair, because they kind of hate everything. Now, he says, Rocket Man feels slightly like missed opportunity to dig a little deeper into the life and humanity of a person who has earned his place in pop cultural firmament. Firmament, if I'm saying that correctly. Yes, yes, that probably is the, what the movie's going for. But you gave it a rotten review by basically trying to say here that it just didn't dig as deep as you would have liked it to. But everything else sounds pretty goddamn positive. There's always going to be one negative Nelly in the bunch, and that negative Nelly is usually someone from Birth Movie's death. Anyway, that is my hot take on their hot takes. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you planning to see Rocket Man this weekend? Are you going to rock out to Mountain John? Are you going to are you going to look at this movie and think, man, this is a crazy sequel to Kingsman 2: The Golden Circle? This is what happened with their friendship once the movie was over. Or are you just going to wait for home video and not really care much about it anyway? I want to hear your thoughts, your opinions. Let me know down in the comments below. Have yourself a great day, guys, and peace out.